Hey, good morning, my friends. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens Review. Before we get started, I'd like to bring to your attention a new friend of mine, A. B. Rustic Relics. Yep. Now, that's Big Bad Brad. And his saying is bringing the past to the present, which is pretty cool. You might want to check out his site. He's on eBay, Instagram, Twitter, SD. If you don't know all of the correct websites, leave your comments below and I'll get with Brad and get all of the websites listed and then I'll come back and do a new review and share with all of you how to get in touch with Rustic Relics. I mean, the guy has over a thousand items now. You know, first it was 300, 700, now over a thousand items. He's got this Parker, beautiful Parker ballpoint pen. Now, don't let me scare you. Ballpoint pens are cool. Yes, I'm a fountain pen user. This Parker Ballpoint, Matt, it's stunning. And uh, maybe we can get to show it to you soon. So anyway, on with the presentation. Uh, on my, uh, one of my reviews on Mail Day, uh, I got three bottles of ink in, and the boxes were falling apart, and the bottles were all dirty. I bought it for two reasons, because of the boxes, because of the bottles. They have some ink in it, yes, which will do an ink swab to show you what the colors look like. Well, at 6 a.m. this morning, I got some tape and I put the boxes back together the best that I can, but these boxes are buku old and I guess they must have had spills in them because uh, some of the parts are just heavily soiled but dried up with ink. But the boxes are, are cool. If, if you're a fountain pen lover, if you're a Parker pen lover, if you're a Parker anything lover, inks or whatever, then you can understand where I'm coming from. These boxes are, are, are tell a little bit about history, tell a little bit about back when they came out. Uh, to me, they're vintage because... They're old, uh, and that's what makes it so interesting to me, the history about these. So I cleaned them up the best I could and taped the boxes the best I could. So let's get on with it. And here they are right here as they look now, and I'll put them all together. They weren't in this good a shape before. So... What we're going to do first, let's see, this is Quink, uh, made in the USA, contains Soul X, and it's washable brown. And uh, they have a little saying in here, it says, first of all, for best results, flush your fountain pen with water before filling with Quink. And... Uh, Let's see. Then it says the Solvex is a magic ingredient in Quink. It dissolves gum and sediments, check corrosion and rubber rot. Dries on paper 31% quicker than average ink. Does not dry in the pen. So I find all this interesting. This is all something I, I didn't know. And it's a good thing I got these boxes because, you know, I've learned something new. It's always, when you're working with fountain pens, ballpoint pens, rollerball, gel, mechanical pencils, whatever it may be, it's always interesting to, to study and learn about the item you're going to be reviewing or you're going to be buying and using. It's that history that's behind whatever it is you're buying that makes it unique at least to me it does <clears throat> excuse me so let's set these aside 
And let's get some rodeo paper out. Now we're going to show you the bottle first. Here it is now, cleaned up. Got a close view on it, Mr. Announcer. Get a close view on that. You got it? And then here's the, the lid. And they were dirty. And to show you how dirty they were, this is what I got off of them. Nasty, eh? So now they're all cleaned up. And on the bottle, on the bottom, it says Parker made in USA. Two ounces, 59 cc's, and the number four. So here is this bottle. So let's go ahead and take the cap off and see what this ink looks like that's left in here. This is the brown. Now that's pretty. Look at that. That is pretty. I like it. Nice color. And I've always been wanting to actually get my hands on some brown of the Parker Quank. So, alright, so now we're going to get the next one. And here's how the box looks like. I taped this thing. I mean, it doesn't look great, but at least it's all together. Quank, quank, quank. And here's what the top looks like. And here's the bottle, nice and clean. And on the bottom, it says the same thing, Parker. And this one has an A with a circle around it. Made in the USA, two ounces, 59 cc's. And then it has the number one on the bottom. So I'm not sure what the numbers stand for. So let's get this one going on. Oh, there's a lot of ink left in this one. Look at that purple. Isn't that pretty? That is some good looking ink. Then later I will be doing some history on these inks to see when they actually came out. I just wanted to show you how I put them back together, clean the bottles off, and show you what the ink looks like. And this one, the box. Now this is nothing to attach on. It just goes on here. So I'm going to leave that alone. So here is the bottle. Now this is the crudest one of all. I'll show you why. This cleaned up really well. Parker Quint. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Look at this bottle. Now look in front. This one has the label on it. Isn't that cool? Washable green. So they're all washable brown, washable purple. So you would you call that purple or a blue? Yeah, that's purple. So and on the bottle again the label says made in USA, the Parker Pin Company, two ounces fifty nine cc's and the registered trademarks on there. And uh And the bottle on the bottom says Parker, made in USA, 2 ounces, 59 cc's with the number 3 on it. So that's if we have 1, 2, and 3. Maybe that stands for the color. You know, I don't know. I'm just guessing. So let's get a little taste of this beautiful green. Now, that could be a teal maybe. But it says green on the bottle. So this is their version of green right here. So there you have it. Now, I'm going to have to find a place to put these little sweeties at and let them rest. So, this may look like garbage to some people, but to me it's a treasure because the way it's aged. Yes, it's all ripped up and 
cracked up and doesn't look all that striped. But to me, this is beautiful because it's history, because it's from the past. That's just my opinion. Folks, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me on Larry's Fountain Pens. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up this week, next week, and the following week. And next week sometime, I'll be showing you the new and latest t-shirts coming out, which you can find now on Mr. Announcer. Uh, Store Frontier. They, uh, we've come down as low as we could on the prices, and they're really, really affordable. We don't make nothing off of them. We have the long sleeve, the black one that you've seen, has the front and back logo. And the other three t-shirts have different designs. Uh, don't they have Larry's fountain pins on it? Yes. But there's nothing on the back, right? Correct. Right. So, uh, I believe those shirts are going for, what, 13 And the long sleeve is going for 18 So, you want to put Larry's fountain pins in when you go uh, to the store. Uh, if you have any problems, leave your comments below and we'll try to get you to the store. Well, that's it, folks. Again, God bless. Take care. Until my next video, rock and roll, baby. Remember, Big Bad Brad at AB Rustic Relics. He's there. He's ready. And if he ain't got it, no one has it. This guy has some office loot. I mean, it's like super awesome. Over a thousand items, and he keeps building and building and building. Be safe, my friends, and don't text and drive. Bye-bye.